Today we're going to work on the Comanche. Now this might seem a small and insignificant job unless you need it. If you need the heater, you need the AC, then a blower motor is pretty important. But uh, this is just the very first, very, very small repair that I'm going to do on this Comanche. So of course, you know, you get an old new vehicle and you start testing everything out. And what I did notice is when I turn the key on, I don't have any blower functions whatsoever. And then I noticed, so I came outside, I said, well, let me check the power going to the blower motor. <clears throat> and of course I found it unplugged. So first thing I did, got some of this uh, deoxid D5. Um, so what this stuff does, it uh, takes that oxidation off of your electrical connectors. Um, so this is the electrical connector for the blower motor. As you see, there's another electrical connector right here. Not really sure what that's for, but you see all that uh, gross stuff there? That's what, that's what this stuff does, is uh, get rid of that. And listen to this. So I cleaned the electrical connection, connections and I plugged it in and listen. So that's obviously bad so i ordered uh from rock auto one of these four season blower motors so we're going to take take the uh old one out and see what we got to do this job you're going to need of course a new blower motor you're going to need an eight millimeter uh socket uh, and ratchet uh possibly an eight millimeter swivel socket and possibly an eight millimeter small wrench and I noticed it was missing that bolt right there. So good thing I've got this. Why I've got this parts Comanche so I can come over here and grab uh, whatever I need. Now Mike could have used this blower motor out of the parts Comanche, but uh, you know, eventually I'm gonna put a whole new AC system and I don't really want any used parts up there in the dash. So anyway, here's the old GMV6 that's in this uh, 86 parts Comanche. So we're gonna go ahead and take this bolt off right here. Now that I got all three bolts out, uh, this thing should just pull right out. You never know what you're going to find in these rat nests and what have you. It's pretty clean. Somebody probably was in here before trying to uh, repair it, but overall, no rat nest. All right, here is a look at the Four Seasons uh, blower motor for the uh, Comanche or, I guess, Cherokee. Now, one of the things I noticed that on my 2000 model Cherokee, the blower motors are totally different. So you cannot put a uh, 97 through uh, 01 blower motor in a 91 Comanche, if that makes any difference to you. And I verified the uh, plugs are the same. And uh, this one uh, probably was replaced before, made in Mexico Siemens. This one from um, Four Seasons is made in uh, Canada. So you will have to take this little gasket off and use that. Now this is another thing that is different from a uh, 97 through 01 um, Cherokee, anyhow, is that it does not have one of these type of gaskets. Um, so anyhow, uh, let's put that on. And that's what your gasket looks like. Make sure you have the metal part of that gasket on the exterior so the heads of your bolts will um, be flush up against that. Again, this is probably one of the most simple repairs I'm going to do on this. Let's go put it on. And another thing to note, this is the hole for drainage. And you have to put that pipe in right there. So now we've got to insert... Uh, this drain hole. Make sure that drain hole is not plugged up. I blew some compressed air to make sure. This is going to be kind of a pain because that hole is underneath. It's hard to feel it. You just got to feel your way around it to shove it up in there. Okay, I see why they didn't put that bolt back in. That thing is kind of a booger to get in, but um, I'm a stickler for not putting all the bolts back. So anyway, so it's good and tight. We're about to plug it in. You're gonna see if this one makes any noise and hopefully we got some blower motor activities. This one sounds good and quiet. Okay, let's go see what it does inside. Turn the key on. 
And let's turn this thing to maximum AC. Of course, we don't have AC. And the resistor is working. And it seems to be blowing somewhere. I do not feel it anywhere. So it's blowing, but not out the vents. All right, well, that's for another day. Yeah, this Comanche's got all kind of heating and AC issues. Um, first thing I did actually was I flushed the heater core and changed the, uh, I didn't film that, there's plenty of videos out there on that, uh, and changed the fluid. The heater core was plugged up. Uh, I did have to put some air in there and push out a bunch of gunk. And then, of course, I noticed that the AC lines, this is the AC compressor. The AC line is actually, um, you can't really see it down there, but but it's chopped in half. So somebody uh, cut the AC lines uh, a long time ago. This is the AC evaporator valve. Um, it's going to need a whole new AC system. I'm going to pull the dash out and fix all the vacuum leaks and that kind of stuff. But not in this video. But uh, the first major repair that uh, you'll see on a video is the transmission. So I just got the transmission this in. This is the AX15 manual. What's wrong with the AX15 manual in this is the first gear synchronizer is shot. So you can barely get it into first gear and it pops right out. That's really the main reason the guy sold it. So stay tuned for that. So hopefully this helped someone out there and uh, y'all have a great weekend.